You know, we've been doing some work with um, SC Pharma, the company developing subcutaneous uh, furosemide um, infusions. And I think that ultimately it's, it could be something that's really useful for patients, really useful for providers of all type, physicians, nurses, etc. Because it, it provides a way to give what is essentially an in, the same, provide the same furosemide levels and action as an intravenous dose without having to start an IV and to monitor the patient, you know, in, in in the clinic. There are many instances around the country of people starting diuresis clinics where patients who are starting to drift downward and become more congested, maybe not responding to a boost in their oral therapy, come in, they get an intravenous line started, they get a dose of IV furosemide, they wait around six, five, six hours to make sure they peed and they're feeling better and then they go home, they might come back a day or two later for another one. This way, you know, with the device that's being developed, once you educate the patient how to use it, you sort of pl plug it on, subcutaneous injection, and there's now been a couple of studies showing that you get equivalent levels to an intravenous dose, an equivalent urine output, and you could prescribe that for one day, several days in a row, keep in touch with the patient, and it provides a way to essentially use the same um, the, the same action as uh, intravenous, not having an intravenous line and being in a clinic or in a hospital. In a, if you have an outpatient um, diuresis clinic, you don't have to start an IV and watch the patient for several hours and have them back. It all gets done essentially at home once you teach the patient how to use the device. So from a clinic perspective, that's that's something. Um, in theory, if someone presents to an emergency room with sort of low-risk decompensated heart failure, you know, without many other things going on, in theory, you could see if they're responding to one dose in the emergency room and then send them home and not admit them. And you're essentially treating them with two or three days of the equivalent of intravenous furosemide rather than admitting them. So from a patient perspective, maybe you can avoid hospitalizations, either from the, wor from the kind of patient who's worsening as an outpatient or potentially the kind of patient who's being seen in an emergency department.